to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hi. I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my channel once again. Well this channel is taking a slight change in direction. But don't worry, you're still going to see much of the same you've been used to seeing. The only difference being is, well, what I'm about to explain to you now. I have dedicated much of this channel's time to the Apollo program with the 50th anniversary this year of Apollo 11 and it's because Apollo has been an interest of mine off and on for most of my life. The history of space flight though is important as it creates the vital foundations upon which the future of space travel is built on. But now that space exploration is being given something of a kick up the butt, it's time I feel that this channel dedicates its time to the future. Throughout my interest in space travel, I've shared a common interest with many others in the space exploration family, and that is of our neighbouring planet, the planet with the red tinge. In fact, it's dubbed the Red Planet and named after the god of war, Mars. Even before the first steps were taken on the moon's lunar surface, Mars was always considered the next natural step, but after 50 years little has been done to push forward a manned mission to Mars. Having said that, much vital research has been done on the ISS, as well as probes and rovers to the Mars surface, has uncovered in some interesting and vital information. If there had been a push to a manned mission to Mars after Apollo, I think we would have seen the first steps being taken on the Mars surface by the year 2000. But now it does seem that NASA, as well as commercial companies like SpaceX, are taking strides to do just that within the 2020s. My dream, and that of many thousands of others, to see that happen is now a possibility. So now I can hope, as my 50th birthday approaches next year, that I can see humans walking on the red planet before my life comes to a natural end. So. I'm going to dedicate a video each week to a long-term series called The Future, mostly dedicated to Mars but also to Project Artemis and many other projects exploring our solar system, galaxy and universe. But still not forgetting the early vital contributions of Mercury, Gemini, Apollo and many other projects that have been built on those vital foundations. So I hope you'll join with me in the first video of the series to Mars 2020 and maybe join me in booking your ticket with this project to Mars. I hope to see you then. I've been your host, the Casual Spaceman, signing out. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.